Good morning, this is Devin with Backyard Projects and today for our next project we are going to be putting in a just a plastic liner uh, pond. I am just doing this, I'm just going to put a little bit of, of a stream in it just to keep out the mosquitoes but I want to attract more wildlife and then I also want to get some frogs uh, because I want to help with, uh, with insects and bugs and I just want to get more wildlife in here. So this is what we'll be doing so as you can tell this is a little uh oh how we should say a little bit of a mess but here's the liner and this is the area that i'm going to put it in it'll be right next to my uh pergola it'll be kind of in between the fountain i'm going to have my bananas and everything that are growing behind it and i think this will be a really good spot so my first challenge First off is I have to empty all this water out. It's full of water. It rained oh, like three days ago and so it's just full. Uh, so I have to empty it and I have to move a lot of dirt around. I have some areas in my yard that need some more dirt. So that's, that's awesome. Uh, but anyway, so that is kind of what I'm doing today. It's gonna be fun. I, I've been wanting to do this, but I was kind of waiting until it got a little warmer before I dealt with a lot of water stuff because it's cold. But, uh, all right, so let's get this dumped. <laughs> okay, so now that I have the water all dumped out, now I have to uh, dig up muddy water, which is fine. I, uh, so I don't exactly know which way it's gonna go yet. Uh, I just figured I'd start digging and I'd figure it out. So, let's do that. Wouldn't you know it, the exact spot that I am putting this pond is the exact spot that there is a big tree trunk. Anyway, I know it's gonna happen eventually. Like. I've been dealing with these trees in this yard a lot. Whenever I moved here, like I said, I've had to oh, get rid of a lot of trees just because a lot of them uh, were weed trees. And I did keep like the oak trees and like the dogwoods and stuff, but uh, not dogwoods, redbuds. But some of these other ones, uh, they just were left so long that they just grew like crazy. So this is the way that I take out a stump. All right, so if you see, I went ahead and cut all the way around it. Basically, I cut all the roots off. So then all I have to do is like, once you cut them all off, then you just gotta, well, <laughs> of course it's not gonna do it now. <laughs> well, <laughs> in theory, <laughs> It should just come out. So, let me dig a little deeper. Yeah, let me dig a little deeper and see if I can get underneath the tree root. All right, screw it. I'm just gonna break out my chainsaw because it does not want to come up. But, see what I did is I uh, brought it down to the lowest point so it's only like that thick. I don't know if you can see it. There you go, you can see it. All right, so now that I have it to like its lowest point, it's gonna be the depth that I need it to be for the fountain, sorry, the pond. Uh, now I just gotta crank up the chainsaw and get it going. Now that is how you take out a stubborn root. Love my chainsaw. Anyway, okay, so now that I have the depth that I need, now I'm gonna have to go out. I'm gonna have to spread out. Uh, so I'm gonna be taking it in from the sides and that'll be it. And then I'll show you placing it. All right, so now that I have it dry fitted and I have made some adjustments, I'm going to have it up probably about four to five inches. Uh, I have rock that's gonna go around it. That and I don't want it lower than my dirt because I don't want it whenever it rains to fill up with mud. So that's why I'm gonna have it raised up a little bit. So, what I need to do now is that I have it 
I have it sitting in there like I want it. Uh, I'm going to put some heavy rock in there. And then I will uh, backfill the dirt to fill it in. And then uh, I will then take it back out, rinse it off, put it in there, and then fill it up with water. And then I will go and get my landscaping rocks that I'm going to use to put around it to decorate it to hide the edge of the border of the pond. So this is what I have so far. See how I still have it up? Well now I'm going to backfill it. So I forgot to mention one very important step. And that is leveling it to make sure it's level. And I'm off just a little. At this stage, it's super easy to fix because I don't have any water in it. And right now I'm just backfilling. So the ground is still soft. My dog is eating dirt. What are you doing? You're crazy. So I'm a little. Perfect. 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 One helpful hint, if you don't have a level that is long enough, what you could do is get a flat board, like a 2x4, set it across and then put your uh, level on top of that and then that should give you the right uh, the right balance so all right so I'm gonna backtrack a little bit I was gonna take this out clean it excuse me but I decided not to do that because I'd really feel terrible if I lifted it and all the dirt fell back in so I'm not gonna do that I uh, I will at this stage I will go ahead and start filling up the water and then uh, I will water around and then start packing it that way because I don't want any air pockets. I know it's going to eventually settle down anyway, but just to be sure, I'm really trying to be conscious of mosquitoes this year and so that's kind of my goal. I want to make sure that I'm mosquito free-ish if there is such a thing. I know that they're going to be bad this year, but all right, so I need to clean out some of the dirt that I can. So now I need to fill it up with water. I'm gonna get some of the mud out and uh, then we'll go from there. Hey guys, okay, so I am back. It's been a few days, but I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do about this fountain for this little pond. So, I'm wanting it to be more of a wildlife type fountain, and I know that uh, a lot of them, they, they don't want a whole lot of moving water, but the problem is here in Oklahoma is that we have mosquitoes, and I do not want mosquitoes whatsoever. So, Instead of doing a waterfall, because I'm having the big pond that I'm going to have a giant waterfall, I'm going to use one of these little filter kits that I got at Home Depot, just because it's easier and uh, I think it'll look really good. Alright, so this little kit, it comes with a filter already, then it also has a pump with it and has a little fountain. I've used one of these in the past. Actually, my very first pond, I had one of these, and that pond was an epic fail because it never held water. But this one's a plastic liner, so it should hold water. All right, so taking all the little things apart, and this one's only 300 gallons per hour. So it's not gonna be a heavy, crazy pump, but let me show you what's in here. All right, so when you open the kit, you get your little 
all your little pieces. And this is going to be for the waterfall. So you just kind of plug these in. You know what? Let's hold off on that. All right, these are your bio, bio balls. And they just help keep uh, bacteria in your pond. Here is your little pump, pretty small pump. Yeah. Super easy breezy, soft and cheesy. Let's see. Then your screws into here. And then this just sets at the bottom, has little suction cups. Oh, let me go ahead and undo this cord. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's go ahead and loop it. It's got a little, little hole to hold your wire in, like that. And then get these out. Then this section just sets at the very bottom, pretty much in the middle that. All right, so these pipes go in like that. And this thing is pretty cool. So if you want to have uh, a little fountain or like a little, uh, oh, what do you call it? Oh, my little turtle. Isn't that adorable? Anyway, I love turtles and it's going to spit a little water out. Hoping that I have the right hose for it though. All right, so let's see. So I have my pipe, then I'm going to put my bio balls in. I'm gonna take the filter, stick it in there. I was hoping that I got it right in the middle and I sure did. And I put the lid back on like so. that and then I can build my pond on top so I'm gonna this one has like a little valve I could show you that opens and closes so if I wanted to do the if I wanted to close this off I could if I wanted to open it up I could also do that so I'm gonna open it up I'm gonna stick this one on top I don't know what this does, but no, oh, no, nope. take that back off. Push it in there. And it's really as easy as that. And then you just drop this down into the water uh, and attach your hosing for your little, your little garden. He's adorable. All right, so now we just have to put it down in there and uh, I've got to try to find a hose that'll plug into this. I'm hoping I have one. I hope I have one somewhere. And uh, we'll get it going. All right, let's do it. All right, so I did find a hose that did go, that did fit on this. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this on here. Just plug it right up. And then I will loop it around where I want it. And then I will cut it off. You fit onto this. All right, let the fun begin. All right, so when I'm picking out a spot, I want it to be pretty deep. Take this out. And this water's cold. <laughs> All right. to be pretty well I gotta let it sink down in there come on now <laughs> it keeps trying to float up on me I think that'll be good 
And I have a ton of rocks that are gonna go on top of this to hold it down more. But for right now, I just wanna have something to hold it. Man, this water's cold. Oh. Well, darn thing. Okay, so it doesn't wanna stay. So I'm gonna put my little, my little turtle there. And I will hide this cord, or this pipe, between some rocks. And I will attach this. Fail blog. Okay, so it might be smarter to hook up the hose before it's buried deep into a cold, cold water. To go ahead and put it on. Like that. And if it's super hot one day, this would go on a lot easier. But today, it's not very warm. So it's not wanting to go on there perfectly. But it's gonna look awesome. <laughs> All right, real important. Make sure that it is level. I don't know why, but this video is very difficult to <laughs> try to record because it's kind of a tight space but um let me uh let's get it plugged in shall we okay let's get it plugged in yay it looks really good um so whenever you're looking at it you're wanting to make sure that it's not gonna be running off the end because I guarantee that if you don't, by in the morning, all your water will be gone. <laughs> it's happened to me several times. Um, I might turn the water, or turn it down just a little, just because it's a little bigger than I would want it to be. Yeah, so let me turn it down a little. And in order to turn it down, I have to take it back apart, turn down the little valve, and then put it all back together. Kind of a thing. All right, so I can tell that my fountain is not straight because you can kind of see that more water is coming off of one end versus the other. So the challenging is trying to fix it. Anyway, let's try. All right, so now that I have the fountain going, I have my little turtle, which is adorable, I'm gonna go and get some rocks, because my whole point of this is having it where wildlife can come in and out of the water, mostly frogs, I really want some frogs. Uh, so I'm gonna get some rocks and build up the side so the water, uh, so that they have something to kind of climb into the water with. All right, let me go get them.
All right, so you can kind of see where I like made like a little runway down, so like frogs and whatever else can have access to the water. They still uh, still can get out. Now I know this this pond is not perfect, and I know that um, I'm building. I'm currently building my giant pond back there, and I didn't want to use up all of my rock until I knew for sure. Uh, how much rock I was going to need for that. Um, so I kind of just put my extra rock here. Uh, and by the time I fill it up with greenery, and then I put more rock, hide it a little bit better, uh, get my slopes a little bit better, uh, then it'll turn out really well. But right now, I, I wanted to try to beat the, oh, the frog season. <laughs> so that's why I went ahead and just got it in. Um, and yeah, I, I think it looks really good for now. Um, I think it'll look a lot better once everything grows up and around. My bananas are already growing. Check this out. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? So anyway, well, this about wraps it up. I, uh, uh, later I will set this on a timer so it's not going 24-7 uh, because I do know that the water can't be moving a whole lot for frogs, but I need it to move at least a little so that, you know, mosquitoes don't get it. But, uh, oh, do you wanna see something cool? Check that out, what? It's a park bench. So, I got this park bench at an estate sale that I went to today um, for like 65% off. I was like, sweet. And it is got a lot of uh, moss growing on it, which is going to look Perfect in my little garden. Uh, you know what? Let me show you where it's going. I second that. Let's just go ahead and put it in its place. Check that out. Oh my gosh. So, gotta imagine, I still have another flower bed that's gonna go here all the way to end right there but that's going to look so cool um so on here can't decide i do have some rotting boards that i need to fix but i don't really plan on people sitting on this a whole lot but i guess i do need to make it safe that one's kind of <laughs> that one's a little loose i might <laughs> i might end up fixing it just because i don't want anybody to get hurt um, but I really just wanted it because of this cool moss on it. Isn't that cool? Loose. I might, <laughs> I might end up fixing it just because I don't want anybody to get hurt. Um, but I really just wanted it because of this cool moss on it. Isn't that cool? I absolutely love it. Oh, do you want an update? Oh, my hair is a mess. Do you want an update on the greenhouse real quick? Bum, bum, bum. It's greenhouse. I'm ready. I'm getting my sidewalk all put in, which is going to be amazing. And so I am keeping all of my plants in here. They say not to bring out your plants until after tax time, which is like April 15th. But uh, it's been so hot here lately. Um, and I'm getting my concrete uh, April 8th, and I plan on bringing my plants out after that because my greenhouse is busting and I have so many seeds and plants that I've got to get done. Sorry if you can't hear me very well, here, here it is. All right guys, so we're gonna try this one more time. So the last video uh, that I had already done, I came into the greenhouse, but I had my wonderful fans on and you couldn't hear anything. So anyway, so where did I leave off? Uh, anyway, all right, so I am getting ready for spring. I don't know about you guys, but my greenhouse is more than ready. But I'm getting my concrete. So hopefully uh, I'm getting that the 8th of April. Um, so I'm super excited and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to do my, move my plants out until I get that done because I don't want people walking all over my plants because I even walk on them and I'm careful. So anyway, 
I cannot wait. I'm ready to get out of this greenhouse. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that. I got aphids. They're crazy. I have tried and tried to clean these stupid aphids up, but they're not going anywhere. I just have to I just have to get this greenhouse cleaned out and once I get them out in the yard then I'll treat them again. But anytime you have a hibiscus, they are drawn to the hibiscus. But anyway, okay, uh, this video is incredibly long and I apologize, but until next time, thanks guys. Oh, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.